this assignment is going to be the death of me, Nick. What do you need help with? I'm almost finished with it, but I don't know who this Adam Smith guy is. You know the internet is a thing, right? Like, you could just look it up? Well, because we need a more interesting plot than that. Okay, okay. Supposedly, like right behind me, there's a hermit who lives underneath the stairs who knows exactly what you're trying to get. Thanks. Off I go then. Have fun. What? Are you the hermit? I came to ask you about Adam Smith. I know it's like a really generic name, but... Oh, no, no. That name has power. More than you think. Come, have a seat. Be my guest. There is plenty of a story to go through here. This smart Scot was born on June 5th of 1723, during a time period where silver and gold were the marks of true wealth. Are you getting all of this down? Grand. So, because nobody wanted to share their wealth and goods and feared that the people of power and abundance would lose said wealth, this encouraged a slew of taxes on imports, subsidies on exports, and the almighty protection of industry. I'm guessing Smith changed how that was done. I always enjoy a perceptive listener. <sighs> When Mr. Smith came of age, he more or less invented the astounding concept of free exchange. Now, I assume you're probably asking, well, what is that? To put it simply, free exchange is when both the vendor and the consumer make a profit, allowing everyone to live happily ever after. In the case of economics, at least, there's still disease and corruption and death and everything. Yes? So is that all he did? It makes sense. It's impressive. Not even close, you prettiness. <laughs> Adam's plans went even further with this ideology that a nation's wealth is based off of the total amount of production and distribution. Basically, for layman's terms, how much you can make and how much you can ship around. Nothing too fancy about that. This concept was, of course, furthered by the publication of An Inquiry to the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations, generally referred to by a shortened title, The Wealth of Nations. Sound familiar? Of course it does. The Wealth of Nations inspired politicians, inherently changing the entire government as free exchange skyrockets into usage and fame. Through this, Adam Smith became the godfather of modern economics. Now. With all that I've told you, what kind of economic structure is that? Mm. Oh my gosh. That's like how America works. That's, uh, well, I think it's capitalism. My proud boy. Indeed it is. Among other things Smith did in his career, that would be his home run hitter. The spin me right round of your Pete Burns, if you know what I mean. Um, what else did he do? Uh, well... Another notable work of Smith was his work, The Theory of Mortal Sentiments. It speaks of how the people of society are influenced by the greater good and are a compulsion of being social creatures. It's more or less your original self-help book, besides the Bible at the time, and well, it sadly doesn't seem to apply much anymore. Stick with the star single, kid. Uh, you've got more danger the deeper you go into mortal sentiments. Well, that's actually a lot on this guy. I'm impressed. Adam Smith actually sounds like a genius. Why don't more people know about him? <laughs> Are there any more interesting facts on him? I really like this guy's story, and I want to know more. Well, I know that Smith didn't enjoy sitting still for portraits. Makes sense considering his most famous portrait appears to, as if he's standing. Oh, <laughs> there was this one time where he fell in a tanning pit because he was so aloof. Ah, haven't we all been there? The only other thing I can think of that you'll need... Well, there is an asteroid named after him, and he died on uh, July 17th, 1790. 
a sad day that was. Well, thank you so much for helping me out. I didn't know there was a guy even like this in history. Um, one more question. Before I go, if I can... Where, where are we exactly? I know that this is under a stairway, but it seems weird, kind of different. I'd like to dub this little place of mine the Knowledge Hole. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, how'd it go? That thing is terrifying. But Adam Smith, never gonna forget him now. Oh, jeez, Rick, I'm so sorry. Well, that's the point of it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Knowledge hole.